we have melted one stick of butter. This is so easy, but so elegant. It comes out so beautiful. Then we're gonna take one cup of brown sugar and spread that evenly around in the butter. So we've got brown sugar and butter. Then we're coming back with pineapple. Now we're using a 10 inch pan here. You could use a 12. This will be a little thicker, but it came out beautifully. One in the middle. Then a beautiful old cherry right in the middle of that. We're gonna take our pineapple juice and bourbon. One cup of pineapple juice, quarter cup of bourbon. And you're gonna take one box of a yellow cake mix, three eggs, and our juice. I'll go ahead with the mm -hmm. juice, all right? Mm -hmm. Bourbon just adds a nice taste to that. This is so simple. And I mean, you can really impress your friends because it comes out beautifully. Now what happens is, now we, hopefully the sun won't go down over the hill before we're done here. But what you do is you cook this at about 350 degrees. Mm -hmm. How many is that on the bottom? How many on the top? I never remember. It's about eight <laughs> on the bottom and 17 on the top. That's right, that's what I was gonna now, say. Now being that this is a smaller dish, and it doesn't have the, it's got the curved top, but we will indeed stack that many on it. We're gonna pour that in. Now that looks like it came out of a bakery. Wow. That's the 10 inch pan. Mm -hmm. Basically what you do is just turn it upside down. Well, we took a knife around it first. To, uh, the outside edges. Yeah, around the out to make sure. And it was well, once we got it loose around the sides, you can see it was, it was moving Perfect. and ready to go and plop it just rolled right out because we had all that butter. And you can see some mm -hmm. of the sugar that's set up right there. That looks so wonderful. Let's just dig in. You know what? Nobody's going to eat this but us. So we Somebody's can dig eat in on whatever it. we want. Oh, wow. On, in a Dutch oven. Mm. Oh my. <laughs> I taste the bourbon, the pineapple juice in that cake. That is that is amazing. The bourbon flavor is subtle, mm -hmm. but it's like with the uh, with the uh, peach cobbler, when you add your bourbon to that, it's, still, it's got the same taste along with that brown sugar. Oh my goodness. I've made cakes for years, but the pineapple juice in place of the water is amazing too. <laughs> this is really, and mm. it's really moist. It's almost like pudding. It's mm. so good. We got a bunch of recipes for you to check out. Cowboy cooking and otherwise. Check out our Facebook page, Tim Farmer's Country Kitchen, and like it. Also check out timfarmerscountrykitchen.com for all the recipes we've had over the years, 160,000 million of them. Wow, that's Take a, lot. a look at those. <laughs> and remember, it's all about good times, good friends, and pineapple upside down cake. That's right, good eats, mm -hmm. yum. Mm -hmm.